Friday post training wrap. I'm going to try to divide these out so uh, you guys don't have to listen to my long ass rambles. And I can also see uh, if anybody clicks through to the other one once I put these up. So another great class by uh, Nick. A really fun class. Uh, I thought it was going to be a small class. It was like four of us up until like a minute or so before. And then all of a sudden there was eight of us, which is cool. Um, and yes, I know if you're in the more, if you're in the, the evening classes, you're like eight people. Hey, don't knock until you try it. You weren't here at 6 a.m. either. <laughs> eight is a big class for uh, a lot of our morning classes. Gerald gets a pretty good draw. But uh, for Nick and I, eight's a really good number. Fun class, doing the two-on-one. I really need to pick up a few more Paul Schreiner instructionals. I have his half guard instructional, and I really enjoy it. I'm not terribly good at it, but I've gotten a lot from it. And I know that's where Nick mentioned it today. That's where he gets the majority of his game from, is Paul Schreiner stuff. So I really need to pick up. A little bit more of this stuff because it really speaks to me. I, I really enjoy the way he breaks things down, the details. I have to watch it a lot of times to get it, but that's the beauty of having stuff online or on DVDs. You get to do that, <clears throat> and that's something I need to be doing at this point. I feel like with my training schedule, where I'm teaching two days, learning one day, I need to be trying to engage a little bit more with jujitsu off the mats even if it's just mentally like catching one of those videos, like watching part of it on a break, uh, at a lunch break at work, and then just thinking about it through the rest of the day or on the ride home, those things add up. And today Nick taught uh, the reverse collar sleeve, which was really neat. Uh, as soon as he, I was like, what the fuck is a reverse collar sleeve? But as soon as he demoed it on me, I was like, oh, you do this all the goddamn time. I hate this thing. It's awesome. Uh, so he did that working into a Grata Plata. Uh, it also really easily works into Nick's idea of two-on-one pulling across the body and taking the back, which I'm a huge fan of, which I tried to do in competition. And this one really helped answer the question of how the hell do you break that arm off the body when it's holding on tight? And this would have been the solution I, I would have used if I had known it at the time. So, very cool. Very glad he taught this class. Thank you, Nick. If you see this, thank you, because that's that's the piece of the puzzle I was really looking for, and I'm going to try and put that to good use. I was trying to at least hit the, the setup for it, the makeup of the position for it in all of my roles today. Uh, got a lot of work on it with the white belts, which is cool. Uh, then I uh, had some really fun drilling with uh, Nick Kapowski. Uh, the Viking Beard, if you if you don't know his last name. Uh, he's a good drilling partner. Ca uh, catches on fast. We're very similar in size and weight. And he thinks things through. Uh, I see him pause and think after he's done it, much like I tried to do. And I like to see people processing and really trying to do something with it rather than just, you know, banging through a move and hitting it again and hitting it again. And hitting it again. There's a time and a place for repetitive drilling just to get reps. Generally not when you're learning a move. It's not the time to be doing it. You should be thinking through every motion and going nice and slow. Uh, then for rolls, felt good. Had a fun roll with Nick and uh, we had some, some back and forth on it and um, caught a move on him that he actually had been looking at something very similar before class or earlier in the week. So we got to discuss that a little bit and the nuances of it. He was looking at a no gi version. I was looking, I, I uh, worked on the knee, the gi version. So that was fun. That's nice. I uh, got a nice roll of Kanan in there. He's going to be great. Uh, it, you know, it's still very instructional phase right now when you're rolling with him, but man, he's, he's moving well and he's remembering what you tell him, which is very cool to see. Uh, as an instructor, it's really neat to see people like to actually Ask for advice, even if, even if they don't ask advice, if you give unsolicited advice. Either way, taking the advice and doing something. And then finally, I uh, got to roll with Steve Defino. He's such a nice guy. Really great guy. Just, um, he's a beast. But he's a great guy to roll with. And he never uses his size as the advantage. He's very technical. 
I love Roland Bubba. It's very much like Roland with Mike Sands. You, you know, you're completely outclassed, but they're not going to uh, make it dangerous or, or too uncomfortable for you. So overall, great day of training. Really enjoyed Nick's class today, uh, especially because the painful part was demonstrated on Bo, not me. So <laughs> I'm really good with that. Uh, love you, Bo. All right. That's enough for me. Take care, everybody. Hope to train with the next one.